Poverty is such a devastating thing. Almost every child that we serve is impacted in some capacity by poverty. After a while, it begins to define who you are, not just to the culture around you, but actually within your own heart. I want to show you the story of a family in India that is thriving and doing well today because of your kindness and generosity. We were able to provide education for the children and a micro-enterprise opportunity for the parents so that we could care for the whole family unit, keeping them together as God intended it to be. Come to India with me and take a look. The death of Lakshmi's husband devastated her family and ruined their future. I felt like committing suicide, but I was worried about my children. Lakshmi and her children moved in with her mother, but they could hardly survive on their combined income. Lakshmi only made $36 a month at a fan factory, and her mother was having trouble getting her vegetable business started. We didn't even make enough money to buy our children the things they needed for school. And without school supplies, they weren't allowed to go to their classes. After her children dropped out of school, a pastor invited them to a CBN after-school program. There they received free uniforms, books, paper, and book bags. I'm so excited. You gave us exactly what we needed to go back to school. And after school, we can come here to get help with our homework. And to help their income, CBN built their grandmother a vegetable shop and provided the produce she needed for a strong opening. Thank you, CBN. You have shown my family and me so much love. I'd like to take you to Ecuador now and love for you to meet Jennifer. Today, Jennifer's story is so different than it was when we first met her. She was pregnant, she was alone, she was engulfed in poverty, had no idea what she was going to do or where she was going to go, in fact, was even suicidal. But today, Jennifer is thriving. We have helped her establish her own business. Her son is in one of our child care centers, learning about the love of Jesus. And they are not just restored as a family, but they have hope and a future because of your kindness. Take a look. Jennifer stood on the bridge, alone and pregnant. I wanted to get an abortion. I wanted to kill myself. I was ready to throw myself into the water. Jennifer chose life for herself and her unborn son that day, but eight years later, she still faced daily challenges with her son, John. There were times when we have absolutely nothing. We were very hungry. We have so much need. I never had funds to buy medicine when John got sick. Jennifer wanted a better life for her son. She left home at 13 after her mother died. I was completely alone. I didn't have a father. I didn't have a mother. I had absolutely nothing. So CBN's Orphans Promise, working through a church in Ecuador, gave Jennifer some help. First, we taught her how to make cakes and other pastries and how to run a business. Her son John benefited from the program too. Orphans Promise taught me about the Bible with Superbook. They gave me food and medicine. When Jennifer graduated, we gave her everything needed to start her own business. Jennifer's Cakes, which she runs from home, has been a big success in her community. That means she has extra money in her pocket to pay the bills and money for emergencies. Jennifer also became a Christian through the process and now gives back a little money each month to help kids in need. That way, they can have meals and hear the word of God too. I am so grateful to you all for what you have done in our lives. Thank you, Orphan's Promise. When you choose to give to Orphan's Promise, I hope you can see that it's not just money being thrown into a need somewhere. You're investing in the lives of people, and we are in relationship with those people to the finish line. So we say thank you because they're thriving today, their children are being educated, the kids have an opportunity to learn to dream and to hope and to become. They're not defined by poverty anymore. They're defined by the love of the God they're learning about in what they do do every single day through Orphan's Promise. So thank you, thank you, thank you for giving them hope and a future.